Hello fragrance fans and welcome to today's video. John here and today we're doing another unboxing and first impression. And really this isn't a first impression. It's just a, um, I guess a sort of review of a, an old fragrance that I remember from my childhood. Um, we won't be really doing a, well, I guess we can do as in depth as, as I usually tend to get. All right, this is not a good one for an unboxing because it didn't come in a box. Okay, that's a little different than what I thought. But anyways, here it is. It's Stetson's classic um, 80s fragrance, or maybe late 70s. I think I've got the Fragranica page pulled up here. Um, 81. Um, so Stetson by the house of Cody which I believe is an American fragrance house, if I'm not mistaken. It says New York, New York. Um, Cody does Aspen, um, and I'm sure several other fragrances that we're aware of that just are escaping me at the, at the moment. But the reason why I bought this is because there was a fragrance that I had a mental profile of that I smelt as a young person and remember it being this powerhouse. Uh, I knew it was a cheap fragrance, uh, but all along I thought that it was the classic Old Spice. And when I uh, bought a bottle of it recently, I realized that although I did like Old Spice and I do remember it now, it wasn't the fragrance that I had this mental picture of assigned to it. And then a few days ago I was in Walmart and um, I was over, I think I was getting some beard dye, actually, uh, or looking at the beard dye. By the way, Cremo makes an excellent beard dye that you, you can just brush into your beard. Uh, you don't have to pre-mix it like uh, the Just For Men. But anyways, as I was standing there, I saw Stetson there and um, uh, in the aftershave, and I had not seen it open that you could grab and smell so I picked it up and took the lid off and rubbed a little bit on my hand and and I'll voila this is it this is that fragrance that I had in my brain that I had been assigning to Old Spice and um, so I wanted to get an eau de toilette concentration and um, kind of do a small review on it because it is really good um, you know, I've been saying in a lot of my videos, what's old is new. You know, at least where I'm at, you don't smell Stetson a lot anymore. You, I, I don't even smell Old Spice on people. Everybody's wearing Dior Sauvage and, you know, Aqua Di Gio and things of that nature. Guys that are middle-aged or later middle-aged, they grew up on Lamal, and you know, you're talking about 20, 30 years ago at the most, you're talking about 90s um, and later. So they're wearing, like I said, Lamal, they're wearing Aqua Digio, they're wearing, you know, the oldest fragrances that anybody's wearing anymore. Sometimes you'll catch somebody wearing Dakar Noir or Cool Water, but everybody's wearing things that are much more newer than things like Stetson and you know what this smells like it smells like Aramis um, Aramis is probably my top selling decanted fragrance which shocked shocked me um, yeah this smells a lot like Aramis um, it's a leather scent it's it's um, categorized as a Shepra um, which Shepra means is a translation of the word Cypress or a transliteration, I guess it would be. But anyways, it means from Cypress. And it's so Cypress, not the smell or the scent or the oil, not from a Cypress tree, but from the island of Cypress. So a Shepra was made to be, um, to smell like it, I guess the origin of Cypress and all the things that go with that. Um, but it is a... So in the opening, you smell that lavender. It's kind of a, a fougere. Um, I would say that it's probably in between a fougere and a chypre. There's definitely lavender there. Let me look and see if I can let me get the notes here. 
So top notes, lavender, um, clary sage, and lemon and bergamot and lime. In the top, you can definitely smell the citrus. Um, they're there. Um, they're blended well, you know, so I can definitely smell more lemon than lime. Um, lime is a scent that is odd to me sometimes in fragrances. I don't smell it heavy, so it's it's blended well. You can tell it's not just straight lemon or bergamot. That lime is changing it a little bit, uh, but it's a nice it's a nice citrus. <laughs> Knocked you over. Sorry about that. It's a nice citrus top. I'm just going to do like Jeremy fragrance and leave that in the video. Um, Clary sage. You can definitely smell that there's an herbal quality there, but a lot of lavender. Now, middle notes, carnation, geranium, vetiver, cedar, orris, jasmine, patchouli. This being a, an 81 fragrance, it has a lot of notes. And you can definitely smell the floral mid there. There is a, a floral, um, and it's really what I'm smelling, I think is the carnation the most. But there's a good mixture of different flowers. It's not overboard. It's not a floral scent. The florals are definitely in the middle there to give it some uh, to give it some uh, softness to soften up that uh, you know citrusy herbal top. There's vetiver. I can kind of smell the vetiver. I think sometimes vetiver and patchouli. Um, kind of um, mix in a way that you that it kind of hides each note. You can tell there's like there's not a strong punchy patchouli uh, flavor uh, or, or aroma because patchouli can be overwhelming if it's real patchouli heavy to some people. Um, to me, I guess it's not. It's not. A, it's not a. You know how. Patchouli and oat moss, to me, both can go kind of, um, the word I would use would be like dank, like almost damp and a little bitter or a little sour. You don't have that. The orris, I think, is what's giving it that powder. It is kind of powdery. In the base, it lists honey, musk, amber, vanilla, and tonka. There is a slight sweetness. Um, there is a little bit of a resinous. So you can definitely smell the musk. Musk is a prominent note in 80s fragrances. Honey, you know, I, I guess that's probably just a little bit of that animalic sweetness. To me, it is a slightly animalic. There's no civet. There's no um, heavy you know, animal notes like I get from Aramis. So what I would say about it is it's kind of like if Aramis is too hairy chested animalic for you, I think Stetson would be a great alternative to that. Um, it's, to me, it smells good. I, you know, I would say this is a, back in the day, this was probably an eight out of 10 fragrance. You know, today I would call it about a six. I'm probably not going to put it in my regular rotation because it is just a little more old school. I think actually the aftershave that I smelled in Walmart was probably a, a little more wearable and more approachable. I don't tend to wear heavy powdery fragrances. This fragrance is a little too powdery for me. A lot of people like a, fra a powdery fragrance. Um, you know, I love Dior Ohm. That's about as powdery of a fragrance as I can wear. Um, but this is a real good fragrance and it's cheap. You know, you can get this. This is a 1.5 cologne spray. It was obviously a tester, didn't come with a box. Did have a cap, um, got it for 10 bucks. Um, it's manly, uh, it smells good, it's classic. So if you like a classic Chypre slash Fougere, um, I think it's better probably than Old Spice. It definitely smells more um, higher end to me. Again, I, I to me, if you tell me blindly that this was Aramis, I might believe you. Uh, I would think that it was probably a, 
a weaker version or a toned down version, but it's definitely in that ballpark. So if you like Aramis, maybe get you a bottle of Stetson. If you haven't smelled it in a while, check it out. But honestly, if you like Aramis, you probably got a bottle of Stetson. You know exactly what it's all about. Uh, younger guys, get you some. It's only 10 bucks, 15 bucks. Get you some and try it. Wear something different. Wear something other than Sauvage and, um, you know, Aqua Digio and Ferragamo Black and, you know, broaden your um, array of fragrant styles. All right. All right, guys. You know what to do. Like and share. Make sure you're subscribed. It's the smallest fragrance channel on YouTube. We want to grow it. Um, and check us out down the road. God bless. Have a great day.